Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to discuss about parallel lines cut by a transversal. So remember, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent. So when we say congruent, the measure of that angle are equal. Next is alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are also congruent. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. So when we say supplementary, their measure is 180 degrees. Exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Now let's have this example. For example, we have given line S is parallel to line M and line R is the transversal. Find the measure of the following angles if the measure of angle 1 is equal to 110 degrees. So let's make a representation first with a given. So line S and line M are parallel. And line R is the transversal. So the line R will intersect line S and line M. Now we are going to find out the measures of the following angles. Now what is the measure of angle 2? So since the measure of angle 1 is equal to 110 degrees, therefore the measure of angle 2 is equal to 70 degrees degrees because angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair so they are supplementary so remember that that if the two angles form a linear pair they are supplementary so since they are supplementary the measure of that angles are 180 degrees so Kung ang angle 1 is 110 degrees, therefore, si measure, ang measure ng angle 2 is 70 degrees. Okay, next, we are going to find out the measure of angle 3. So, the measure of angle 3 in this given is equal to 70 degrees because angle 2 and angle 3 are vertical angles. So, they are, so they are, congruent. So remember, if the two angles are vertical angles, they are congruent. So same lang yung kanilang measure. So since the measure of angle 2 is equal to 70 degrees, therefore, the measure of angle 3 is also 70 degrees. How, now, how about if we are going to find out the measure of angle 4? So the measure of angle 4 in this given is equal to 110 degrees because angle 1 and angle 4 are vertical angles so they are congruent so therefore the measure of angle 4 is equal to 110 degrees okay next how about the measure of angle 5 so the measure of angle 5 here is 110 degrees because angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. So katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, corresponding angles are congruent. So therefore, they are equal or same yung kanilang measures. So, uh, so the measure of angle 5 is 110 degrees. Okay, next. How about the measure of angle 6? So, the measure of angle 6 in this given is 70 degrees. Because angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles, so they are also congruent. Or pwede rin dito na yung angle 5 and angle 6 are linear pair. Okay, so since linear pair sila, 110 yung 5 or yung angle 5, so therefore yung angle 6 natin is 70 degrees. Okay? So, pwede mo siyang uh, tingnan using the corresponding angles or pwede rin naman sa linear pair. Okay? Next, measure of angle 7. So, we are going to find out the measure of angle 7. So, the, um, so the answer is 70 
degrees because angle 1 and angle 7 are exterior angles on the same side of the transversal so they are supplementary or you can use vertical angle in this figure because angle 6 and angle 7 are vertical angles so they are congruent so the measure of angle 6 is 70 so the measure of angle 7 is also 70 because they are vertical angles so pwedeng dahil dun sa exterior angles on the same side of the transversal or pwede mo ring tingnan sa uh, vertical angle so para sa akin mas madaling tingnan dun sa vertical angle Okay, so congruent lang naman sila. Next, how about if we are going to find out the measure of angle 8? So the measure of angle 8 is equal to 110 degrees. Okay, so uh, angle 1 and angle 8 all alternate interior angles so they are congruent. So angle 1 natin kanina, ang measure sa given, yung measure niya is 110 degrees. So since angle 1 and angle 8, are alternate exterior angles so they are congruent so equal lang sila or you can uh, check the measure of angle 5 which is 110 also that's why uh, the measure of angle 8 is 110 degrees because angle 5 and angle 8 are vertical angles okay so dito pwedeng tingnan mo si angle 5 bilang sa uh, vertical angles sila ni angle 8 or, you can check the measure of angle 1 para malaman mo yung measure ng angle 8 because they are alternate exterior angles. So, kahit saan dyan sa dalawa, same lang naman ang kalalabasan ng sagot natin. Okay? Now, let's try this. Find the measure of each angle if the measure of angle 1 is equal to 2x plus 20 and the measure of angle 2 is equal to 3x plus 30. So, for example, we have this figure so, we are going to find out the measures of the given angles. So, first, we are going to find out the value of x. Kailangan muna natin alamin yung value ng x for us to find out what are the measures of the given angle. So, first, uh, as you can see, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. So, we all know that the measure of that angle are is equal to 180 degrees. So, if we are going to add uh, the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2, the total of that is 180 degrees. So, let's find out first the value of x. So, first we are going to add the measure of angle 1, which is 2x plus 20, plus the measure of angle 2, which is 3x plus 30. Then, i-equal natin siya sa 180 degrees. Now, simplify. Combine similar terms, 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x, 20 plus 30 is equal to 50, and then bring down 180 degrees. Now, we are going to apply here the addition property of equality. So, we are going to add both sides with negative 50 to isolate 5x. So, it will become 5x is equal to 130 because 180 minus 50 is equal to 130 degrees. And... Now, simplify. We are going to divide both sides by 5 by applying multiplication property of equality. So, divide both sides by 5 to isolate x. So, x is equal to 26 degrees. Saan ang galing yung 26? 130 divided by 5 is equal to 26 degrees. Now, we already get the value of x. So, we are going to substitute it to the given uh, measure of angle 1 and angle 2. Now, let's substitute 26 to the measure of angle 1, which is 2x plus 20. So, substitute 26 to x. So, it will become like this. 2 times 26 degrees plus 20. So, 2 times 26 degree, the answer is 52 degree plus 20 is equal to 72 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle 1 is 72 degrees. We can easily find out the measure of angle 2. But, let's try to substitute uh, 26 to the given to the given measure of angle 2. So, say angle 2 daw ay 3x plus 30. So, now let's substitute 
26 to x. So, it will become 3 times 26 degrees plus 30. So, 3 times 26, the answer is 78 plus 30, the answer is 108 degrees. And if you check, we add the measure of angle 1 and angle 2, the total of that is 180 degrees. So, now we can easily find out the measure of the other remaining angles. Okay, so remember the measure of angle 1 is equal to 72 degrees and the measure of angle 2 is equal to 108 degrees. Therefore, uh, the measure of angle 4 is equal to 108 degrees because angle 2 and angle 4 are vertical angles so therefore they are congruent. Next, the measure of angle 3 is equal to 72 degrees. Okay, so angle 1 and angle 3 is also a vertical angle, so they are congruent. Now, how about if we are going to find out the measure of angle 6? So remember, uh, angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles, so therefore they are congruent. So equal ang kanilang measure. So angle 6 is equal to 108 degrees. Therefore, angle 8 is also 108 degrees because they are vertical angles. Next, angle 5 will become 72 degrees because angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. Okay, so since they are corresponding angles, they are congruent. Or pwede mo ring tingnan dito si angle 5 at si angle 8. As you can see, angle 5 and angle 8 are linear pair. So pag sinabi natin linear pair, yung measure nila is 180 degrees. So kung given na si 8, which is 108 degrees, therefore the measure of angle 5 is 72 degrees. Now, the measure of angle 7 is also 72 degrees because f angle 5 and angle 7 are vertical angles. So, ganun lang ka-easy yung uh, pagkuha ng mga measures ng ating given angles. Now, it's your turn. Find the measure of each numbered angle. May given na tayo dyan na measure ng ibang angle. So, you are going to find out the measure of angle 1 and angle 2. So, if you are my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson. Use a compass and straight edge to bisect line segment, angles, and construct perpendiculars and parallels. Thank you for watching. Happy learning, everyone.